What's up, Gemini? This is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Gemini, this is going to be your weekly general focus reading for the week of uh, March 21st through the 27th, 2016. Before I begin your reading, Gemini, please keep in mind that some of the messages will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. But the overall energy that I'm sensing for some Geminis this upcoming week relate to the temperance in the reverse major arcana major life event so there's a couple messages here uh, i don't always read these cards or get the me messages in one dimension so the temperance in the reverse remain uh, means to me that for some gemini's it's an overcoming uh being thrown off of balance uh i'm just getting a recent situation that may have cropped up or occurred that threw you out of balance this upcoming week there's a restoration of that uh, you know that balance being thrown off because this is a general reading uh, you have to extend the messages to whatever uh, is closer significant to you a relationship a job situation something going on in the family friendship etc now the other side of this temperance card being in the reverse is that some Geminis are still going to experience being thrown off balance. Something comes up and apply what I just said to what I just said. <laughs> okay, if that makes sense, I apologize for being silly here. Um, so yeah, there's a potential of you being thrown off balance for the ones that I'm reading for this upcoming week. And it all depends on you know how well you handle it so i feel that there's a situation for some gemini's that i'm reading now when i say this please don't keep this in mind too when i say all of this it's not meant to be negative it could be something that's so minor uh the little things you know some people are routine and anything that throws them off, that's what I'm referring to in terms of a balance. It, it, it may be that, you know, you're the type of individual that likes to, you know, have their coffee at seven o'clock in the morning and something happens to prevent you from uh, having that cup of coffee. That's what I'm referring to. Something is small. Uh, so it's not so much negative that I'm reading or at least getting the message for you, Gemini. It's just something throws you off. Uh, it could be your schedule. It could be anything, um, but you have to apply what I'm saying to whatever is close and significant to you. So there is the two part of this uh, temperance. Uh, some Gemini's overcoming being thrown off balance from the recent past, uh, something that was significant to them or close to them. And then there's for the other half that I'm reading uh, to expect or endure being thrown off balance, even if it's minor. OK, um, <clears throat> But I don't associate anything, you know, negative or heavy with this temperance. Some of you just may feel like you're out of balance and it may be a chemical uh, situation as well. All right. So recent past yesterday, going back to two weeks since this is a mini read, we have a uh, the page of wands. So there's a for some of the Gemini's that I'm reading for, there was a delay. Some sort of delay now. Because it is the wands, and the wands usually come in quick and fast when they're sending upright. And since there's two hearts here, I'm going to uh, apply this one message related to a relationship. Maybe there was a delay in terms of connecting with someone new, possibly a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female. And there was a delay. So that's one message that I'm getting. But I feel the emphasis is there was a delay. Um... Uh, some Gemini's experienced uh, two weeks ago. And it may be even related to, uh, I'm just hearing about a birth. Maybe there was some sort of, if there was a birth um, from someone that you knew or know or close to, they didn't go on their due date. There was a delay. Okay, so. Something may have came in quick. 
You may have connected with someone new, but there was some sort of temporary delay or stop. All right. Middle of the week, we have the Ace of Coins in the upright. So this is all about an offer of, now look, a new job, number one, Aces, represents fresh starts, new beginnings, and the Ace of Coins is all about finances. So there could be an emphasis where some Geminis either, you know, get promoted, get that job that they've been looking for. It may come through this week. Um... The emphasis here is, you know, to have your cake and eat it too as well uh, with Alice looking at the cupcake. So, but more so it's work related. So it could be a job that you get, a promotion, a lateral shift in the job or something, a position, something related to finances. And it's a fresh start, new beginning for you. Also, the Ace of Coins represents uh, for me because I don't always see the ace of cups significantly excuse me significantly meaning it's love and relationships that ace also represents the ace of coins also represents relationships so there could be an offer of a new relationship for the single gemini's who want to connect this week and if the page of wands is in the uh, reverse and i see a relationship that was either uh temporary delayed or held something happened it didn't go forward then the ace of coins comes in to say that uh, if the connection there didn't take place at that time then it was the uh, emphasis of the movement this week with that situation so <clears throat> that's pretty good i like that now for the gemini's that i'm reading for for the la very last card so you may be in a relationship what I just feel that some Gemini's will endure. And this is probably where the temperance is uh, coming in for the message that I was reading for the other half or the latter half of the Gemini's who may be thrown off balance a little bit. Now we have the two of cups in the reverse. And I don't like the two of cups when it's in the reverse because it's, you know, two people who don't see eye to eye and aren't on the same page. It all actually refers to uh, when it's in the reverse. And it all depends on what I'm seeing. Uh, it could lead to a split or, you know, a breakup in terms of a relationship. Now, this may be involved in a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but they may, this individual may have uh, water sign elements in the birth chart. Uh, in the event that there is no breakup and you're still together, then you're just going into the end of the week, not being on the same page. So it's almost like your backs are to each other. Um it could be if it is a water sign directly then you know that person's emotionally upset with you for something that you may have done um it, you know something insignificant uh, but if it's a water sign they take things serious not all water signs so i'm not speaking for all water signs just that some have a, a tendency to take things um more serious than other signs so if i can say that so by the end of the week uh, this also too relates to you know partnerships and stuff so you could be in business since this is next to the ace of coins you could be in business with someone and you're not seeing eye to eye or, or you both aren't seeing eye to eye or aren't, aren't on the same page as well but i do place the emphasis on a relationship <clears throat> with the two of cups in the uh, reverse so <clears throat> this is your reading gemini it's, it's a mixture of energy but I do feel overall it's more positive than it is uh, negative. Because um, like I said before, with the two of cups in the reverse, I don't always see a split or separation. I just see that, you know, two people are together. You know, they may have a um, little disagreement, but that's all it amounts to. OK, um, so it's all about going into the end of the week, possibly not seeing eye to eye with your per partner someone you're dating uh in terms of business uh, you may be uh in disagreement with someone related to a business venture or proposition so that's what i'm getting with that and then i feel that there's a progression of a relationship with the ace of coins showing up in the middle and sits next to the uh, page of wands in the reverse 
something was held or temporarily temporarily delayed recently um, specifically related to a relationship now I see progression with the ace of uh, cups moving forward all right so the energy of Oracle card that I have selected for you Gemini is the world card the world card is pretty good I like this card because the emphasis here is for Gemini's uh, going into this week to expand your horizon your thought process um, the world as I see it is that you have many opportunities um, available to you there's a lot of resources that are going to be available to you so utilize that energy um, wisely this week so if you can see it's the world and there's a elder gentleman just standing there staring at the world so it's like broaden your horizon don't be restricted or limit yourself in terms of your potential okay because you do have a great deal of potential and then you have the universe to support whatever endeavor um, you choose to move forward in okay so that's a good card all right Gemini this is your reading thank you once again uh, for visiting my channel I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead until the next time I wish you all love and light take care bye